Jupiter is also unmissable. That lies in Taurus. It's really bright and that is actually visible until 4.15 a.m. On Thursday the 6th of February, the waxing gibbous moon is going to be quite close to Jupiter and in the early hours of the morning of the 7th of February, they're only going to be 4.8 degrees apart. And on Saturday the 8th of February at 7.08 p.m., Callisto is just three arc seconds south of Jupiter's south pole. This time, rather than crossing or disappearing behind Jupiter, it's going to just graze the south pole. The moon's never... Well, they're sometimes in a perfect line, but more often than not, they're a bit higgledy-piggledy around the planet. They are, and I, I still just love looking at them like on a day-to-day basis. And when you draw that, you really feel like you're connected with those moons. I just love doing that so much. In the Sky Guide, there is a map which shows where the moons are going to be on the various nights. And I always love looking at it as a piece of artwork because it looks like they're spiraling around the planet, which I suppose in a way they are, but that always looks beautiful. 